I'm Jennifer Carroll from CelebratingEverydayLife.com and welcome to a Junk Journal Flip Through. Hi friends! In today's video we are going to take a little tour of my brand new fall, I want to say fall slash Halloween junk journal. It's not um, it's Halloween, but it's not like spooky, scary Halloween. It's fun, sweet, like Hallmark Channel, Gilmore Girls kind of Halloween. So um, it's really fun, and I just want to take you on a little tour of it. Um, a lot of the printables and things that you're going to see in here, um, you can get in my Etsy shop. So I will be sure to share a link to that. Um, but let's uh, let's get started. So. Um, here is the cover and, um, this is actually a, um, I've done this as a cardstock cover and so you can see I've actually given it, I've scored the cardstock to give myself a little spine here and I've even put Halloween on there. Um, so this cover is going to be available in the Etsy shop and it's a really fun collage of sweet Halloween kind of images and so on the cover here i've got a piece of burlap fabric that i've cut out and i've kind of frayed the edges and added this tag this tag's going to be in the shop as well but for some fun i took some leaves just from you know like a fake you know these kind of branches that we all get so i took that and i um put that an eyelet over it hopefully you can kind of see that there that I put an eyelet um if I loosen that you can see there that there's an eyelet and so I used the eyelet to attach it to the um to the cover I just cut the stem off and then I also added a little fun leaf accent up here at the top as well um and that I added I found this really cute garland of little ghosts and pumpkins and things like that at my local TJ Maxx and I just thought they were so cute I couldn't resist including them so I've just used a little um, pumpkin brad up here at the top that I've attached that with and then on the back I added another leaf to this eyelet with some ribbon going through it to close it um, just for a fun accent there too so very sweet and fun. So I've got some ribbon um, that I've put on each side. So, you know, you could tie this up to keep it all bundled together um, and then just undo it like that. And we get into the fun Halloween goodness that's going on in here. So there are some cute pockets and tags. Again, these are items that you can find in my Etsy shop. There's also some fun little embellishments. Like I love this little um, broom and it's a drink stirrer that just has some, you know, little black raffia <laughs> attached to it, but super cute. It's a fun little bookmark that you can just tuck right in. And then I have just some other fun embellishments that I've added in as well. Um, here's the inside of the cover. So I double, I printed the cover on both sides. So this one, I didn't put anything like a cereal box or anything like that um, in between. For this one, I just kept it light and did that. That's not to say you couldn't do that. You absolutely could do that, but I just didn't do that to this one. I did add a little bit of burlap trim, a little ribbon burlap. This is not burlap fabric, it's, but you could use burlap fabric, but this is just actually a little ribbon. Um, and I just added that on there for a little accent. And then tucked inside, I have some little music sheets that I cut. And I used the deckled blade on my paper cutter, on my rotary cutter, um, because it just, it's not a true hand-torn look, but when you're trying to do a whole bunch of these at one time, it's a fun way to kind of move the process along and get a cute effect. So. Some little music sheets um, are kind of tucked throughout the journal. And some of my coffee dyed paper, I, I have a video on my YouTube channel for how to make these and I share some tips and tricks on how I do it because I do bunches and bunches of, of this paper all at one time so that I have lots just kind of on hand for projects just like this. So again, I cut that up, folded it, 
so that it just, you know, was a little more interesting. Added a sweet little pumpkin stamp in the corner. My daughter was like, mom, you need this for your junk journal. So I tucked it in. Um, and some little pumpkins that I found. I believe I found these at Walmart. Um, and then some tickets that are on my shop that I've tucked around just for fun accents. And I've got that grouped with just a little, little clothespin. And over here, I've got, so there are a few papers. Um, I believe I have, I want to say 10 Halloween papers uh, in the Etsy shop. And so I have printed several of these front to back. Um, so this is one of those. And I added a little strip of ribbon to this to make a side tuck area. And I've just got a little, uh, what is that called? Um, it's not a clothespin. It's a paper clip. <laughs> This is what happens when you're tired and you're making videos. You forget the names of things. A little paper clip hold in that. Um, so I just tucked on a couple of the little bigger size tickets. So the tickets that I have in my shop, my Halloween, um, fall Halloween themed tickets, um, it comes on one sheet and they're three different sizes. So this is the biggest size and this is the medium size on this little guy. And then as we get, oh, and then here she is. She's the smallest size. So you can see the three sizes of the different designs that are on the sheet. So they're a lot of fun because you can use the three sizes in a lot of different ways. So I have, it's another piece of the coffee dyed paper here that I just cut and added a little ticket and a little stamp just with a little masking tape. I love to use masking tape because it is so similar in tone to the coffee dyed paper. So it has that nice vintage patina. And I love this little sweeping owl. And then here are, I have made a collection of mason jar tags. I know there's, if you're anything like me, you love mason jar anything. And so I'm doing a whole series of mason jar tags. So these are um, fall themed ones that are in the shop and there are Christmas ones coming soon. So please stay tuned for that. Um, so I just have that tucked in there because this is just great for, um, you know, taking notes, but you can also punch a hole in it and add that, add it, um, add some ribbon, like a gift tag or something like that. So that is in there and super fun. I found these, um, cobweb doilies. Uh, these, I believe they're made by, um, Wilton, the cake people. So if you look in the cake decorating aisle, like with all the, the like Halloween supplies for cake decorating, um, you should come across these and they're super fun. I could not resist including this in the journal because I thought it just was really sweet. This is another one of the papers that you can find that's in my Etsy shop. And I attached one of those um, pumpkins. I love the hat. And so I attached it on its side like this because it's like a little tab. I thought that was really cute. So that's some more coffee stained paper. I love the different... Um, textures and things that get going on here with the coffee dyed paper. I'm thinking of selling some coffee dyed paper. So if you are interested in coffee dyed paper, um, leave a comment on this video. Um, cause I'd love to know if anybody's interested in getting some. Here is another page. So this is just some ledger paper that I've added one of my pockets to. Again, the pockets are in the shop and then added just some fun little paper accents. I have a bunch of this pretty paper with the gold foil, um, this brown leaf. So I've cut some of that up, some more dyed coffee. Um, this was coffee paper that I had tried. Um, no, this was something I had tried another dye on and was not happy with it, but I still liked the paper. So it just didn't take the color the way that I wanted, but, um, I've cracked the code on that. So I have all these coffee dye or not just coffee, but all of these paper dyeing tutorials because I love doing the research for you guys so that you can just get the results you want and you don't have to struggle. So check out my dyeing, paper dyeing tutorials. Um, this is one of my, I have a couple of sets of pockets for Halloween and this is one that I decided not to add the pocket on. I'll show you some that I did add the pocket on, but this one I decided not to add the little pocket. So this is just the backing card that I cut out and curved the corners and added a little bit of the distressing ink to. And of course, here's one more of the little tickets. So that's just 
So these are just good for little, you know, notes, ideas, cuteness, <laughs> just all tucked in there. And again, on this pocket, um, I took and rounded the corners and added some distressing to those. And this is another paper of mine that you can get in the shop and they're already kind of distressed for you. This is one of my pink papers. This is a pale pink one and I have a video showing you how to dye these. This is so cute. This is a paper bag that I have layered and bedazzled within an inch of itself. <laughs> and so this is one of the pockets. So this is like the little girl here. This is another one of these pockets that I've created um, that you can get. And this one, I did attach the little front pocket to. So it's got the backing card and then the pocket to go with it. And you can mix and match them. It's a set of, um, I wanna say four designs and you can mix and match them if you want to. I have them paired up, but you know, you once you buy them and download them, you can get creative. So to this, I have just taken this paper bag and the card was a little bit shorter than the bag. So I added just a little bit of washi tape down here and then added a little bit of fabric washi tape here. I also have a piece of ribbon that I glued on and another one of the little tickets is up there. And I tucked into the pocket here, I have a little heart piece of coffee dyed paper that I cut with just a, um, a paper cut, a paper punch and added a little bit of ribbon and some washi tape to that and tucked that in the pocket with another little ticket. And I have a bunch of these little tags. Like you can get these at, you know, just Staples or Walmart. They're just key tags. And so I distressed it a little bit and added, I stamped on an H and I actually stamped the H first in brown. And then I did a little gold over it too kind of offset just for some some shimmer and some fun. So that's on there. But on the back side, I decided to um, get a few more of the leaves. Remember the leaves from the front cover? And I cut the stems off. So they were like this. And I just cut the stem off so that it's just the leaf there and glued those just along the bottom of that to create a little pocket. And I glued a piece of fall ribbon. And on the card here, I did two cards back to back and glued them at the top, but then put one on each side like that. So it's like a little tab that is double-sided. And inside I have just some more coffee dyed paper. This is one of the pockets that like this one would go with that little girl. But I decided, um, like I said, not to use her. So I just cut the little flaps off and have it tucked in this little pocket, the little leaf pocket. So cute. Here's another distressed paper, another one. Here is just, um, oh, so here are some green papers that I've dyed. And this video is gonna come out hopefully next week on YouTube, but when you're seeing this, it's probably you'll probably be able to find it right on my channel. Um, so this is a green paper that I dyed, and oh, I just, I love how this paper turned out so much. And you can see like it's different colors and different sides, and I talk all about the tips and tricks of making this in that video. So I hope you will click over and watch that. And so here's some more of the other papers, just cut up in pieces. And I have this clipped on just a little paper clip. Now I remember the name, a paper clip that I've added just a little bit of ribbon to. And I just cut the ribbon and then glued it to itself, like looped it through and glued it there. So for a fun little embellishment and it can tuck on there. And that way it can hold things together, but it also acts like a little tab, which I think is sweet. There's another paper that you can, can get. And these are fun because you can layer papers onto it if you want to, either by you know washi tape or glue or paper clips, or you can just write right on them. So it's whichever you prefer. But you know, if you're wanting to like put some photos and layer pieces on, you can do that. These papers are a really pretty backdrop for that. 
and you don't I, like I said there's 10 papers so you can choose which ones you want to back together um, you don't have to back them quite the way I did but you can and here's another piece of coffee dyed paper that I took and I kept it longer I added a belly band on this page and then decided to tuck this folded piece in so it's like that and I added a little bit of ribbon and a button to the bottom so that again it's kind of like a little tab here on the journal um, but it's a mobile one so I can move it around if I needed to with a little paper clip but I just thought it added a fun detail and of course here's another one of the mason jar tags this one's a little green pumpkin with a yellow flower in there so again just sweet for notes um you know keeping track of things and just cuteness <laughs> i'm all about the cuteness so this is the back i took the ribbon the belly band around i've included in here a halloween um uh, magazine page from i think this is from country living so you know if you're new to junk journals now and you save magazines the way that i have now you have a use for them you can tear pages out and put them in your junk turtles yay so it's just fun and easy way to add some extra pages and interest to your journals so love things like that some more of the green paper here is another one of my papers so we've gotten to the center and so i've added a couple of the tags for um to my dangles the little tickets to the dangles here i also just used my heart punch and cut out some hearts in different papers just for some interest it's just fun it's not it's just an insert it's not really doing anything although you could make little notes little sweet things but it's just a fun interest little added interest to the center section um for you know just for some fun halloween sweetness so here is the back side of that and another green paper that I've added a little bit of ribbon to, a little bit of leftover scrap burlap. Um, another thing I love about this is like when I was cutting this and I had like a little piece I had to cut off, I didn't have to throw it away. I could just trim it. I mean, I didn't have to trim it. I could just glue it right onto this, like a layer, hot glue a little button on there and ta-da, a cute little tab. And I even could have, I didn't on this one, but you know, I could have um, kind of sandwich the paper between the ribbon and done something similar on the back side too. Here's the other side of that. Yep, it says Country Living. So this is the other side of that. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look, October 2008. Oh, I have so many magazines um, of that magazine page. But I love, you know, there's certain things it's like, oh, I just don't want to get rid of it. So like, I love these felted pumpkins that are in this article. So fun. So um, here's another pocket page that I attached to some coffee dyed paper. And again, you know, a little bit of distressing ink makes these pages that you just print right off of your printer and they're so stark and white. A little bit of the, I use the Tim Holtz distressing ink and um, you can see links to all my favorite crafting items in my Amazon store. There's a link under this video showing you that. Um, because it just totally transforms this and makes it not look so bright white. It makes it look distressed and loved and, um, you know, used and it's just great. So, and that's what I did with this too. This was like a really bright colored tag. Do I have one right here? Yeah, I do. Here is what this tag looked like. And then, you know, again, I just added some distressing ink and some other darker ink. I took the ink I used for this pumpkin and kind of went around there. And so I could turn this into something that looked, again, like old and found and loved and treasured. And there's so many things that you could do with this. I mean, you could, you know, stamp a name, stamp all kinds of things on it or add another image or a ticket or anything to this. So... You know, there's fun ways to turn brand new things in to make them look old and well-worn. So this is another piece of the music. I've added a little bit of fabric washi tape and some tickets and a little, another little paper clip. And again, just a little piece of dyed paper that I 
have added a little bit of masking tape to like a little tag. You know, it doesn't take much to make something fun and interesting and cute. So that seems to be what I'm all about. So <laughs> we can tuck this in here. So these pockets are just done with a little bit of glue on the sides and the bottom, um, in case you're wondering. And here's another page. Love this little girl with the little kittens. And here's another pocket. So this is one, this is again, one of these pockets that I was talking to you about earlier on the bag. Yep. So this is another one of these that comes in the set and I've attached the, the front pocket to it. And this pocket, the back is attached to the paper, but this has the flaps so that you have the full width of the pocket here, um, which you don't get with the other way. When you put pockets on this way, you don't see how it can't go all the way to the edge because of the glue. But with this, you can. Um, and this is just another piece of dyed paper that I've added a little washi tape to, a little paper clip that has a little bit of sparkly suede tassel on it, and another ticket. I love how the tickets just add color and interest instantly. <laughs> it's a lot of bang for your buck. Um, and this is the back of that. There's another paper. And so this is the other side of the paper bag. And I decided to attach one of my pocket tags. Instead of using it on a pocket, I um, attached it to the paper. Um, and so I just did a little glue on the back side at the seam and attached it so that now you have like a tuck over here if you want it. And you've got a tuck here on, in the bag flap. You've got the pocket still of the bag. So if you wanted to put some stuff in there, you totally could. And then this is I've used some washi tape on this flap and added a little bit of music. Then I've taped that with some masking tape, added another piece with some masking tape so that you get another little writing spot that's like a little booklet that flips out. I love little flip out things like that. And they don't have to be super complicated. And then I added a little bit of ribbon here on the back and I've used a little moon brad and just a little leaf punch to kind of layer that for some fun interest. And this is just a little pocket that you can tuck a little pumpkin or <laughs> something fun into. And here is another piece of paper where I added a ticket and turned this into a tab at the top, like a fun little bookmark. And another one of the papers. And I love this little boy with the kitty. And a piece of ledger paper. Here is a fun little coffee paper. And we found all these little foam ghosts at Walmart. And um, I think it was Walmart or Michael's. And I just thought it would be fun to include this. So I wrapped it in a little bit of cheesecloth and like it's a ghost dressed up like a ghost <laughs> and um, added a little um, bit of fabric to the top and I've clipped on a little tag. And then I took a little piece of paper and distressed it and put boo on it because that's what a ghost would say, right? And then if you flip her up, it's a little masked woman and she is um, a pocket that I've included in my printable set. And I love how it's like, boo, and here's a masked lady. So just having a little fun. You know, you gotta have fun with your junk journals for sure. And then here's a couple other little little girls that are little tickets um, tucked in here too. And this is a little bit of ribbon that is on a round paper clip. And again, it's like a little tab, which I love that. I love the tags and the, the tabs and the pulls and things like that. Um, for marking things in the book. Here's the other side of the web doily and another paper. And this is the last page of the book. This is the last paper from the front. So you've got a pair of owls here and then the sweeping owl on this other corner, which I think was really sweet. And then this is the back page of the book. So in here, I've got another pocket. So this is the back of the cover. So again, the collage kind of pieces, I printed them just um, double-sided and added a pocket here and you can see the, um, the eyelet. So I used the eyelet to attach the leaf again 
And in this pocket, I just have another one of these sheets of music and I've attached a little pumpkin again. I love the sparkly glittery side. This side's a little too bright for me. So, um, but I love the little hat peeking out behind the paper. And again, I've just taken a paper clip and added a little ribbon to it. And this is another one of the cards for the little pockets. So this is the last one in that set. And tucked this in here with a paper clip. And I have one more paper clip up here that I have just a little bit of black velvet ribbon that I attached to the edge and have clipped on these little kitties, kitty tags onto there. And that is that. There we have it. So if you have been thinking about making a Halloween or fall themed journal that's sweet and not spooky, um, hopefully you've gotten a couple of ideas. Um, I'd love it if you'd check out my Etsy shop and you can get a lot of these printables that I showed you. If you have questions about how I made anything or did anything, please drop a comment. I would love to answer your questions. I do have a Facebook group for journals called Celebrating Junk Journals. I would love to see you there. And um, if you have any ideas of journals that you'd like to see or any embellishments that you are curious about, how to make, um, any paper dyeing tutorials, anything like that, I would love to share my love of junk journals with you. So please make sure you subscribe, hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the video and um, oh, click the bell and you'll be the very first one to know when I do another video because you'll get that little alert and please hop over to my blog, subscribe. Um, subscribers get a sweet little gift in their email box when they subscribe. So I'd love to send you some little junk journal fun. And what else? I don't know. I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining me as we played and wandered through the pumpkin fields. And I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please give it a like, a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. And as we get to different milestones, I'll be doing some fun giveaways. So stay tuned for that. And awesome. All right. Well, I hope that you are blessed and that you find ways to celebrate everyday life. Thanks for watching. Bye.